Okay, I'll continue this. Um, this is uh, The Quran Says What, which is a book I'll be publishing on Amazon on August 6th of this year. 70th anniversary of the dropping of the Hiroshima bomb. Yeah. Anyway, uh, since I feel that this laptop computer is going to be pulled off uh, due to it, Slander the Prophet of Islam, which uh, a blamer said there must be no future for, and Slander the Prophet of Islam is basically what I do, which is just expose what's in the Quran, a hadith that Muslims don't want uh, non-Muslims to know about. Well, I'm going to be bringing my concentration to this camera instead of yours. Sorry. Okay. All right, I'll continue here. I bring up Quran. Uh, he says this. The Muslim says, "If this book was written so long after Yeshua's ascension to heaven, isn't there the possibility that the real meaning of the teachings of Yeshua were lost?" That means Jesus. He calls it Jesus Yeshua. I say this. If so, then the Quran is false. For the Quran says in Quran 3:55, MM Pixel version. And remember, when all is said, "O oh Jesus, lo, I am gathering thee and causing thee to ascend unto me, and am cleansing thee of these of those who disbelieve, and am setting those who follow thee above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection." Did you get that? Did you get that? Am setting those who follow thee above those who disbelieve unto until the day of resurrection. Thus, the Quran is false if the angel is either lost or corrupted, and of course there is Quran. The, the then, then there is then this Quran scripture that doesn't make sense if you are right. Quran sixty one fourteen Yusuf Ali uh, study version eight nineteen eighty five. O oh, you who believe, be ye helpers of Allah, as Jesus the son of Mary to the disciple, uh, uh, as, as said Jesus the son of Mary to the disciples. Quote. Who will be my helpers to work of Allah, uh, to uh, work of Allah? Uh, said the disciples, we are all his helpers. Then a portion of the children of Israel believed, and a portion disbelieved. But we, that's Allah talking, even though shirk is the worst of sins to Allah. But we, Allah, gave power to those who believed, the Christians, against their enemies. And they made, and they became the ones who, that prevailed. But the only ones that prevailed were the Christians that followed the 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 New Testament gospel Jesus, not the Muslim Jesus that was uh, supposedly taken up to uh, uh, heaven. How can that be true if the angel is now lost or corrupted? The only thing that has prevailed is the angel of modern Christians that you st that we still have today. There's only one. There's only ones that prevailed. Yeah. And I consider myself one of them. Seeing as one was a, 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 was around that was alive and knew him to recount what happened when the new invented Bibles was written. If so, then by that logic, how can you believe the Quran when Muhammad wasn't around to see Jesus at the time of the apostles? How? Why the double standard, O slave of the best of deceivers? Why the double standard? Because he, he said this. Seeing as no one was around that was alive and knew him, Jesus, uh, to recount what happened when the new invented Bibles was written. And then I said, if so, then by that logic, how can you believe the Quran when Muhammad wasn't around to see Jesus at the time of the apostles? How? Why the double standard, O slave of the best of deceivers? Why the double standard? <coughs> Isn't there the possibility as well that when these books were written that perhaps there was some personal bias of the time thrown in? And if there was, can't the same thing be said of Uthman when he supposedly burned six versions of the Quran, keeping the one you supposedly have now? Who made Uthman Allah? And it is possible that the Bibles 
had been the Bible, that the Bible, Bahamas, had been edited to fit the church's agenda and not the papers? If so, then the church must have had a time machine to go back in time to change the Torah. So when Jesus Christ would die on the cross for the sins of the world, it would make sense of all the sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah. Uh, all his book given to Musa. Christians of today maybe need to reread the Bible or read it for themselves if they have just been listening to others. Well, I think you're right. I think you're right. As a matter of fact, I think you, O oh Muslim, should obey Quran 1094 and come to me for my reading, not reciting, but my reading the before scriptures Bible so you will accept what the Lamb of God did on the cross confirming the Torah with the sin offerings of innocent animals being killed for blood atonement and escape hell that way. And that way you don't have to have your patootie in the air on a prayer rug five times a day and snort the water up your nose, trying to get a Satan out of it and stuff like that. You know? Christians of today maybe need to reread the Bible uh, or read it for themselves if they have just been listening to others. Need to instead read between the lines and look at the overall message that is being presented instead of just all the details. The only way to do that is to read the letters of Paul, who explains how the death of Jesus Christ on the cross makes sense of all of the sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah, all, all is but given to Musa, where innocent animals were killed for sin offerings, which make no sense if it's not pointing to Jesus Christ being the Lamb of God. Of course, if you want to just believe God is cruel to little lambs and other innocent animals for no reason other than smelling them burning, go ahead. Majority of professing Christians today are not true Christians. Don't tell me. A true Christian has his or her patootie in the air five times a day on a prayer rug, right? Well, if so, where is the where in the before scriptures Bible does it tell true Christians to be in such a gay receiver's position? Gay, a gay position. They do not teach what Yeshua taught, believe what Yeshua believed, or do what Yeshua did. If not, then Quran 3, 55, and Quran 61, 14 are lies about Jesus and his followers being now uh, uh, prevailing and being uppermost the day of resurrection. If you are right, then you need to check the Quran. For example, the, the two most holy times of the year are Xmas and Easter. Actually, Easter is. However, these days are not biblical, but rather come from ancient pagan worship. If so, well, so? Do you know why you Muslims circle the Kaaba counterclockwise? Do you know why you bow down to the Black Stone? Even before Muhammad forced you to bow down to the Black Stone, pagan Arabs were doing that with not only 360 other stone symbols, sim uh, stones symbolizing their gods, a lot of them were bowing down to the uh, black stone as well. So if you think Christianity came out of paganism and is therefore false, well hey, Islam came out of paganism as well. This is a fact that even leaders and professing Christian churches will admit uh, it could seem that way. It could be seen that way, being that Catholic, being that the Catholic Church aligns sacred days with pagan reasons, uh, with pagan reasons, uh, re re uh, religions. But the same thing can be as to why you uh, throw cast stones at the devil and go on a Hajj to Mecca. Going on a pilgrimage to Mecca was going on before the pagans, before there was Islam. Yeah going on be was going on excuse me going on a pilgrimage mecca was going on by the pagans before there was islam thus christianity came thus if christianity came out of paganism and you reject christianity for that reason then you have to reject islam for coming out of paganism as well why don't you you yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, really, if 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 if, if Christianity came out of paganism, well, so did Islam. Came out of the same thing. Oh, you know something? Um, I think I'm gonna have to quit it here. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Cause I. Yeah, I got lost, <laughs> and I don't want to waste your time. So, see you in the next video. Bye.